How's it going out there, YouTube? This is WFS, your doctor. Normally on my channel, I talk about film, television, pop culture news. And I try my best to keep politics off my channel. In this particular case, though, I think it is something that we do need to discuss. The FBI having issue with Twitter, whether or not they are or were asking social media platforms to block content creators or or at the same time silence certain speech from these platforms now a rasmutin poll coming from now mind you this article is coming from newsmax rasmutin poll 63 percent want fbi pro for censorship it is a very serious topic to discuss and as i said normally i don't put this stuff on my channel but when you consider that the accusation is out there that the FBI and other government agencies are s supposedly censoring platforms like Twitter. It begs the question, has this type of thing happened on other platforms? And if it hasn't, will it go that way? Could it affect people like you and me? And again, this is something I feel, I think that we need to discuss here because this is a serious issue. Freedom of speech is very important. And wherever you stand on the aisle, whatever side of the aisle you're on, your left, your right, your liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican, I think I've covered everybody, your politics should not interfere with freedom of speech. Now, mind you, freedom of speech is very important to me. I love this country. I love America so much. And this is a topic that we do need to discuss because what concerns me here, if these stories are true, it means that a government agency was weaponized for political purposes, silencing people over something that supposedly is true. And I'm assuming that all this is about the Hunter Biden laptop scandal. But let's get into the article here. A strong majority of voters says Congress should investigate whether the FBI was involved with censoring information posted on social media, according to the new Rasmussen re Report survey. A total of 63 of likely 63 percent, excuse me, of likely U.S. voters says that the support of a congressional probe of the FBI, with only 22 percent opposing such an investigation. Rasmussen report said Monday, 15% said they are undecided. Well, right there, it's, it seems like a lot of Americans want this investigated. I question polls. I really do. Because when it says 63% of likely voters, what 63%? Who was asked? Were they asked on the Republican side, Democrat side, and I know this is going to break it down, but it's still 63% of what? Okay, so if it's 63% of a thousand people or a hundred thousand people, how does that justify or claim that this is what the American people want? It's a question I, I think should be deserved, it should be answered. Internal findings at Twitter released by the billionaire Elon Musk showed that the intelligence community, including the FBI, were constantly in contact with the big tech giant to censor posts. Rasmussen report found that 60% of the voters believe it is likely that the FBI encouraged social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter to suppress, silence, or reduce the reach of certain political speech and speakers, with 43% saying it was very likely. 27% say they don't think it is likely that the FBI encouraged social media to suppress or silence political speech. 11% aren't sure. The Rasmussen Report survey also found that 50% of the likely voters have a favorable impression of the FBI, including 20% who have a very favorable view. 46% have an unfavorable and favorable impression, including 26 who have a very unfavorable impression. While 74% of the Democrats have a favorable opinion of the FBI, only 34% Republican and 40% of the voters not affiliated with either majority party agree, Rasmussen Report found. 
The poll also found that 53% of the voters agree, including 37% who are strongly agree with former Donald Trump advisor Roger Stone's statement that a group of politicized thugs at the FBI who are using the FBI as President Joe Biden's personal Gestapo. A total of 38% disagree with Stone's assessment, including 29% who strongly disagree. Of course, the FBI has definite, definite defended itself, excuse me, the FBI has defended itself after the accusations and claims. The correspondence between the FBI and Twitter show nothing more than examples of traditional, long-standing, and ongoing federal government private sector engagements. Representative Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, who is set to take over as chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, voiced serious concerns about how and why tech companies suppress, silence, and reduce the reach of certain political speeches and speakers. The Rasmussen Report survey, sponsored by the Moderna Divins Laptop from Hell, was conducted December 19th. 21 among 900 likely voters the, the margin of sampling error is plus slash minus three percent point three percentage points with uh, with a 95 percent level of confidence okay so let's talk about this whatever side of the aisle you're on on this whether you think the FBI did or did not suppress information or demand or ask for these social platforms to suppress information. Do you think there should be an investigation into this? I mean, <clears throat> there are stories out there about Hunter Biden at his laptop and how they, the current president, who was vice president at the time, supposedly used his power, his influence to get his son political favors. And the laptop supposedly confirms all this information. Now, again, depending on what side of the aisle you're on, you're either going to believe it or not believe it. But the point that needs to be made in all of this is that regardless of what side of the aisle you're on, an accusation has been made and it needs to be investigated. It, it, it does. We, should, we have to stop playing politics with every single little thing in our lives. It's getting out of control. And the fact that, again, a government agency has been accused of interfering in the private sector and censoring censoring freedom of speech is a major issue that has to be investigated and whether you're a democrat republican liberal or conservative your politics should be pushed aside for this this is not a political issue this is an american issue this is a constitutional issue and it deserves immediate attention I want to hear your comments and your thoughts on this, my friends. I'm going to end the video right here. If you like the video, please click the like. And if you want to hear more content, please subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm WFS, your doctor. And until the next time we talk, my friends, God bless.